Now I'm Chris Robinson. I started out on the Barbican in 1978. I was quite interested in finding something I could do without getting a proper job. There was a bookbinder, hairdresser, a leather goods worker, um, a writer, and I had to go on the first floor to start with. And I opened that as a shop, having got a dozen or so drawings of Plymouth. I started out there and was there for about six years before the possibility of moving down the road. Uh, a few doors came up and a whole building uh, offered itself. The whole street was full of small businesses. Well, I started out just doing prints of the drawings that I did and selling those and somebody suggested that I did a drawing of the Royal Marine Barracks at Stonehouse and gradually my subject matter became more and more obvious, shall we say, and it was always, always a struggle but because I'd never worked for anybody else I, I wasn't used to a, a good income and I just thought this will build slowly. I hadn't realised quite how slowly that build would be but nevertheless I got a tremendous amount of satisfaction from doing it and within four years I'd met the features editor of the uh, Evening Herald he came into the shop one day and I realised that I'd drawn quite a few things that I'd found antiquarian prints for from virtually the same angle and I said how would you like a, a sort of then and now series and that was in 1982 and I've been writing for the paper every week since and I think that's longer than any, any of the uh, journalists out there at the moment. Ran a disco for a number of years, which was a hangover from student days. It was the first thing I ever did for money, apart from a paper round. And then uh, that got me into radio, and for 25 years I kind of freelanced for the BBC. We did the first book in 1985, I think it was. I think we're on about the 19th, 20th book now. We've done three or four hundred prints, I think it's seven or eight DVDs. And it's not all just about selling through this shop. We're increasingly selling through, obviously, Waterstone Smiths um, and the other outlets, HMV, plus the internet. Certainly, if we relied on what we sold through here, it wouldn't be life-sustaining for, for anybody. And, and also, one of the prices that you pay for doing what you really enjoy doing is that you probably receive considerably less income than other people and less security and... You know, there's no sick pay, there's no holiday pay, but you do it because um, you'd rather work for yourself. I'm Rob Warren. I'm drawing mould. Mm, I've been working with Chris for about 25 years. About 17 years, I think. Chris was producing black and white prints, and I said to him one day, have you ever thought of doing them in colour? I just came and sorted a few photos for him, and I've been here ever since. <laughs> and Chris said, well, I have, but I don't really know how to go about it. So I said, well, shall I give it a go, and we'll see how they sell. And I did, and I've been doing it for the last 30 years. <laughs> he could never find anything, so I made it my task to sort him out. And I did that for a long time before I decided, or we both decided, that I would stay and work for him. We get on great, we're very different, but uh, that's what makes it work, I think. I'm a general dog's body, really. <laughs> that's the truth of it. <laughs> The more I do about Plymouth and, and the more uh, I build up a collection of pictures, books and everything else, the more people think that I must be like the library. I get people coming in failing to understand, and I try and say this in the nicest possible way, failing to understand that I might slightly glaze over after about half an hour of details about their grandparents and, and people that I have no idea about on the grounds that I might be able to help them. And, and yes, of course I can. but. The library, the museum, the record office, these other institutions, they get paid to deal with these inquiries. And I know it sounds terribly, terribly mercenary, but I don't. <laughs> Hello, Chris Robinson. I now work from home, as does my wife, and I, I write for them there. I absolutely love what I do. I don't want to do anything else. And the funny thing is, the more you do, the more you learn, and the more you understand about the city. I mean, I've probably written more about Plymouth than, than anybody ever, uh, and I'm still learning every day that I do it, and I just think that's fantastic. How, how fantastic is it that the, the more you learn, the more there is to learn?
when I used to do the disco, but I had a vinyl copy of Peter Cook and Dudley Moore doing the, now's the time to say goodbye, goodbye, now's the time to yield a sigh, yield it, yield it, now's the time to wend away, until we meet again, some sunny day, goodbye, goodbye, we're leaving you, goodbye, goodbye, ta-ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta-ta,